Hi, I'm Dr. Don Bonner with Personalized Wellness. Today we're going to talk about something that, uh, that I'm really passionate about, and that's uh, hormone replacement in women as they're entering menopause and after they go through menopause. Because this is a topic that saves lives. And there's a lot of misinformation out there that, uh, that I want to try to clear up a little bit today and really you know, drive home the point that I really believe women need to be on hormone replacement therapy when they go through menopause to protect them from cardiovascular disease and stroke, to protect their bones, to protect their brain. There's just so many things that, uh, that these hormones do for, uh, for women that uh, I really want to get that message out there. So today, we've talked a bit about what, what the hormones do as far as benefits go. And today, I, I just want to talk about the safety profile and the issues with, uh, with giving these particular hormones. Okay, so really the big thing that everybody wants to talk about and is worried about is obviously breast cancer. Okay? And yes, obviously we have to be concerned with breast cancer. There's, there's you know, no doubt about that. But when you look at studies and they say that, that estrogen causes breast cancer, I take issue with that. I, you know, personally, I haven't seen any studies where women were given estrogen in the form of estradiol or even primarin. I haven't seen any studies that showed an increased risk of breast cancer when you give those. So I think that's really important. There are studies out there that show that women with breast cancer had high estrogen levels. But one thing that you have to take away from that is that just because there's an association because there was high estrogen levels does not mean that the estrogen caused the breast cancer. That's basically a leap of faith in that that association you know, represents causation of breast cancer. So I think that is very, very important because in my opinion, a lot of what we're dealing with with breast cancers are from metabolic problems, visceral fat, inflammation. You do get increased uh, estrogen levels from that visceral fat. And I also think it's our environment that's causing the, the uh, prevalence of breast cancer and the estrogen and, estro and the endocrine disrupting chemicals that we're exposed to. But that, that's a completely different lecture. What really got all this started was the Women's Health Initiative study, which came out, I think, in 2003. And when that came out, it had to be halted at one point because the study showed that there was an increased risk of cardiovascular disease and stroke and an increased risk of uh, cancer. So the study had to be stopped. But when you actually look at the study, the really bad character from that study was not the estrogen. It was not the, the Premarin that was being taken. It was the Provera. Provera is a synthetic progestin, and it is a bad character. And I would never recommend people to take Provera, you know, long term by any means, because it does cause an increased risk of cardiovascular disease and stroke, and it can increase uh, breast cancer also. The interesting thing about that study that nobody really wants to talk about or has talked about that much is that there was actually an estrogen only arm of that study. These were women that had had hysterectomies and didn't need progesterone coverage to protect their uterus. So they were only given Primarin, which is a synthetic estrogen. And in, in that arm of the study, there was not an increased risk in breast cancer. There, there was actually benefits to cardiovascular disease and benefits to bone. And we know from plenty of studies since that time that studies where, where women have been given estrogen, that there's actually a protective effect from cardiovascular disease, definitely. And there's definitely benefits to bone, to your brain. You know, all of those things are, are without question. So I'm a big, big believer in replacing estrogen, folks. A huge believer. Now, would I say to give estrogen for a patient that's having breast cancer? No, I, I, you know, I wouldn't say that by, by any means. 
but do I say do I think that estrogen given in a bioidentical way is going to increase your risk of breast cancer I don't believe that and I haven't seen those studies so until I do see those studies I'm gonna get a big advocate um, the other thing that, that we could talk about really quick is progesterone and then testosterone also I believe progesterone should be giving should be given to all females after they go through menopause I think it's I think that the studies are very clear that even if they don't have a uterus that progesterone is protective to the breast and I think that's very important and I really believe that women should be taking progesterone and again this is progesterone either oral micronized progesterone or sublingual progesterone not provera not a progestin the progestins are what cause the problems folks and that's what we don't want to have the progesterone is protective to the breast testosterone I think also should be replaced in my uh, menopausal women or and even my perimenopausal women and, I, and the studies are out there that definitely show testosterone is protective to the breast also so by combining estrogen progesterone and testosterone I think we get the benefits of not only breast protection from the progesterone and testosterone but we also get all of the benefits from estrogen that you get there's more than 400 benefits that you get from estrogen so again huge believer in giving estrogen folks and um, I, I just really can't say it enough and it, it's it's really a hot topic for me so again those are kind of our risks and benefits that's why I recommend giving these hormones and I'm Dr. Don Bonner and uh, please hit the subscribe button to below that helps us out as a channel I'm trying to get this word out to as many people as possible so that helps us comment uh, below share all of those things would be uh, would be you know greatly appreciated and uh, you know let me know in the comment se section what you think what issues you have what questions you have about this and um, we'll have another video out uh, next Tuesday and I hope you're enjoying these and I, uh, I really appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video and again thanks I'm Dr. Don Bonner